he joins us from Germany, but he hails from the United States. He's uh, Kevin Trudeau. He really doesn't need any introduction. This is the guy I remember many, many years ago, more than a decade ago, national TV spots exposing Ritalin as hurting children, shrinking their brains, attacking their hearts. Now they have to admit that on the drug insert. Prozac-type drugs causing psychotic behavior. Uh, I mean, this guy has really done so much good, putting out books on all the documented herbal, uh, you know, things that have been known to help the body for thousands of years. And he's in a landmark case right now in appeals court where they're trying to say he has no First Amendment. They're also saying that with the Hillary movie. That was in the Washington Post saying, oh, no, no First Amendment. This case is deciding whether you can criticize Hillary Clinton. And we have the Fairness Doctrine they want for the Internet. We have the Cyberbullying Act saying if, if someone says you hurt their feelings, a federal felony. I mean, this is really happening. And Kevin Trudeau is just 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 giant. I always said, oh, I like Kevin Trudeau around the office, but thought, oh, he's so busy, I won't try to get him on. Then found out through ManCal that uh, Mr. Trudeau was familiar with PrisonPlanet.tv and I was aware of what we do. So maybe we'll get him to talk about that a little bit later because I'm, I'm flattered and interested in how he found out about us. But joining us from Germany is Kevin Trudeau, who's an absolute giant when it comes to exposing corruption and funding himself to be able to do that. You know, doing good moral things and becoming successful, that is the American way, and that's why they're coming after him. Kevin Trudeau, great to have you here, sir. Hey, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me on, Alex. You bet. You know, I don't. You don't like talking about yourself, but for people that don't know all the things you've done, break down all the great things you've done, and then now how they're coming against you and all of our free speech. Well, my books now have sold over fifty million copies. My biggest book was Natural Cures. They don't want you to know about. That was number one on the New York Times bestseller list twenty six weeks in a row. It actually was the number one selling book in America. It beat Harry Potter, and that's never been done in history. Especially, it's a nonfiction book. Now, but, but way back when, in 1989, I went on TV, as you mentioned earlier, with a program called Mega Memory. I founded the American Memory Institute, which became the largest memory training school in the world. And I was teaching children how to improve their memory so they could do better in school. And a guy named Sean Shanahan had a, uh, a reading program called Hooked on Phonics because he was upset that they were taking, the Department of Education was taking phonics out of the schools, dumbing down our kids. So he was teaching kids how to read by teaching them phonics, which they should have been taught in the schools. I was teaching them memory training so they could remember more information and have a higher self-esteem and do better. And I exposed that the Department of Education put a mandate out to school systems saying, the more kids you get on Ritalin, the ADD drug, you're going to be benefited financially. We'll pay you $500 for every child you get on Ritalin. So the school system started drugging the kids, basically making them brain dead, dead and putting them on psychotic drugs. They were taking phonics out of the schools, dumbing them down so they're illiterate, and I was exposing this. Guess what happened? I got sued by the Federal Trade Commission for false and misleading advertising, even though of the $400 million worth of memory courses that I sold, there were no complaints. And I had federal judges, I had politicians bought the program, said it was great, but the FTC was mandated to shut me up. They also By the way, Kevin, I, Kevin, I bought your system when I was in like junior high or high school, and I already had a great memory, certainly improved what I was doing. It's a free country. I'm allowed to buy your product, even if it's crap, which, by the way, it's not. That's why you're so successful. That is because you do sell a lot of great stuff. That's my right. And, and now they're even going after Cheerios, saying it'll lower your cholesterol, you know, a diet rich in this. I mean, th I mean, this is really a tyranny. It, it really is suppression of the free flow of information. Because if people bought, let's say, my program, Mega Memory, you know, they sued Sean Shanahan, was hooked on phonics, and bankrupted the guy. Luckily, I had the funding to fight back. Now, I, my, my companies over the last few uh, years have done around $3 billion in sales. So I've been very lucky to have the financial backing to say, no, you're not going to win. Now, we'll, we'll talk about the fact that I just got fined $37 million, which I'm fighting in the appeals court. Luckily, that didn't break me. It's not going to change my lifestyle, but I am, of course, fighting that in the appeals court. The bottom line is the federal government wants to suppress 
the free flow of information, and they do it by intimidation and scaring people to sh- keep them quiet. They don't want people to know the truth about natural cures. They don't want them to know the truth about the dangers of psychotic drugs. They don't want them to know the truth about what's happening with the money supply. They don't want them to know the truth about the fact that the food supply in America is so depleted of nutritional value. I'll tell people, I'm in Europe right now. I know what an apple tastes like. I know what a cucumber tastes like. I know what a carrot tastes like. If you're living in America, you don't know what those things taste like anymore because the, the, the depletion of the soil in the U.S. is beyond comprehension. You'd have to eat, Dr. Emanuel Sharaskin said this 15 years ago. He said you'd have to eat five times as much food to get the same nutritional value than your grandparents did just 20 or 30 years ago. You know, Kevin Trudeau, I was just talking to the head of a farm and ranch organization last hour. The feds are openly saying they're going to shut down most of the family farms and ranches. And the big agribusiness, they're exempt from all this. They wrote it. And, you know, how dare you or somebody else put out a book or a video exposing them? I guess the feds will just sue you now. We were talking during the break. Can you specifically tell the listeners what you told me, that in this court case they're saying, and now in other court cases, that there is no First Amendment and that they're trying to set the precedent to uh, literally fine or arrest people they don't like? Right. For 35 years, the Federal Trade Commission had a doctrine called the Mirror Image Doctrine. And what it said is any person can write a book about anything, and that person can then talk about it and express their opinions. And if they do that, the Federal Trade Commission won't go after them for false and misleading advertising. Because of my book, my most recent book was called The Weight Loss Cure They Don't Want You to Know About where I exposed a cure for obesity that was discovered in 1959 by Dr. Simeons, a British MD, and it has been suppressed all these years. And I wrote the book, sold millions of copies, hundreds of thousands of Americans did the program, found it to be easy, and virtually a cure for obesity, you lose the weight and it never comes back, because Simeons found the cause of obesity. Well, Well, when I wrote this book, I said in the book, that the Federal Trade Commission and the FDA is designed to protect the profits of the major comp- corporations. They're protecting lap band surgery, gastric bypass surgery, and the, this most horrible drug called Ally, which is just you have to wear diapers if you take it because you crap your pants. And if you take it, ooh, you'll lose four pounds every six months. It doesn't even do anything for weight loss, but the companies, the drug companies are making billions. When I wrote this book... It was so popular that the drug companies forced the FTC to sue me, and the FTC said, we are canceling our mirror image doctrine. We now uh, are saying that it's our legal right as, as a federal agency to attack authors if we don't like what they write in their books. And authors who say their opinions can be sued by the government. So they sued me, stating that my opinions in my book were wrong. They didn't like my book. Well, take Erwin Schiff. Erwin Schiff wrote a book saying the IRS is a fraud, a collection agency for the private federal reserve, which is true. But regardless, if it was a lie, he still has a right to write it. The judge told him, don't issue that book anymore, don't print anymore. He did. They arrested him, tried him. He's in prison for the book, and, and you know they're telling the makers of the Hillary movie they're not allowed to put that out. They've, uh, as I said earlier, they've introduced bills to restrict free speech. I mean, they are really scared of what people are saying and doing right now, or they wouldn't be moving like this against the First Amendment. I think they've bitten off more than they can chew. I think this is going to blow up in their face. You know, the New Freedom Initiative's internal documents came out in 2006 as I'm sure you know, saying the plan by the FDA and the schools uh, is to get half the kids on Ritalin and Prozac uh, classes of drugs up from 15%, and that it is all just a business operation that they were given campaign money to do it. Now, that was released by one of the board members, made the news, not big news. There is the evidence of criminal activity. It's okay to push deadly drugs on kids, but you don't dare tell them the Cheerios might be good for them. Correct. And and the point that people listening need to understand is that the federal government, specifically agencies like the Federal Trade Commission and the Food and Drug Administration, these agencies are not protecting the United States citizens. 
These agencies are protecting the profits of the corporations that donate the most money to the political campaigns. That's the fact. And here's a perfect example about this. The, the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, routinely sues companies for false and misleading advertising. If you look at the last five years, they've sued small independent companies, and they always have the same MO. They go into court. They never call the company in advance. They rush into court secretly and demand that the judge freeze all personal and corporate assets of the company, which the judge grants 99% of the time. So now they don't have money to defend themselves. Bankrupting the company. Okay? That's number one.